My name is Margarita, and I've been coming to St. Thomas, it's going to be three years. Well, I was volunteering for the regular catechesis, and I wanted to learn how to, um, how the lessons were, so I could find a way to adapt the lessons for my daughter with special needs. And as I was helping, um, there was specifically one girl that reminded me of my daughter. And this girl, um, like she really wanted to learn, she really wanted to do the work. But I noticed that that she needed a little bit, a little bit of more help than, than the regular student. And when I will give her that extra help, she was very happy and excited about, like, oh, okay, so yeah, this is, this is it. I think that the, the calling, I yes, not that I tried to ignore it, but I think that it made it more clear that I had to do it. It was something that it had to happen. Um, the other thing that made me, give me the reassurances, learning about how, how Jesus was calling the disciples that he wanted to, you know, be part of uh, evangelizing and, and how he picked them and they were not perfect. And if I were one of them, I would say, I'm not ready. I'm going to wait another year and study some more and learn some more because I'm not ready. I want to make sure that I'm perfect for that. And I learned that I'm imperfect, and, but still I can do a lot. I, it, it seems like the most logic thing to do for me to do it. Like, why would I expect anyone else to do it if, if I'm not doing it, if I'm not brave enough to do it? I have <clears throat> experienced firsthand how hard it is to, to learn about it and to be patient and to find the right materials. And I think that the challenge uh, for me was how am I going to do it with more than one? But what really made the difference, uh, it was someone in, in church. She told me, you just do uh, the work, do a lot of praying, and remember that God is the one who is doing this. And it just reminded me that it's not me doing it, it's not about me, it's not about even my daughter, it's about something higher than me. And it, that little reminder that lifted that way that I had, how am I gonna make sure that the materials are engaging for everybody? How am I targeting every need that every kid has? When we say that we are God's hands, like it sounds, you know, very inspirational sometimes. And, and, and I think that is very different when, when we actually live it. Um, it changed you because it makes you uh, realize how powerful can be little change that we can make and how much impact it can have in a lot of different families and especially for the kids with special needs and it just makes me uh, want to do some more.